Hello, this is Roosevelt's conversation on leadership. And today I have the distinct honor, the distinct pleasure to have a conversation with my friend. I called him Ivan the Great. <laughs> or if you want to, Ivan the Terrible. Ivan the Great is great in size, great in smile, great in life. And first time I met him, mm, I was impressed. Ivan, welcome to Roosevelt Conversation. Thank you so much, Roosevelt. It's my pleasure uh, to be on your conversation today. Tell us about you. I know you from the Bahamas. You tell us. You're driving. Thank you for your time. And this is so, what technology, that means we can do space. We can do time are not borderless for us. Ivan, yeah. tell us about yourself. Thank you so much, Roosevelt. Roosevelt, I am a 47-year-old. I'm a 47-year-old uh, young male who was born uh, in Nassau, Bahamas. Uh, my parents, uh, the late Cedric Anthony Thompson and my mother, Jeanette Thompson, you know, they were basically simple, modest individuals. Um, and so I grew up a simple island boy life, uh, like most, you know, persons that live in Caribbean countries do. You know, you attend school, you go to church, you get involved in, in church work, and, um, you know, you get involved in some civic organizations like the Red Cross. You know, that was, I was a part of that. And so as you grow in life and as you get older and you get more mature in life, you realize that there is more uh, to life than just those basic things hmm. that make individual and holistic individual to make them a well-rounded individual, to make them, actually for them to, to, to pursue what God has basically placed in them uh, to be able to help uh, others. And that was leadership. And so I sought out the leadership organization in you know the country at the time. Uh, this was like 20 years ago, Roosevelt, just over 20 years ago. And that was Toastmasters International. And of course, we know it's the history of Toastmasters. And so I applied myself to this program to be a part of what this program is doing, to hone my skills, to hone my leadership, and to hone my communication skills, and to be able to help others do the same. And so Roosevelt, it has helped me. I'm a public officer. I work in the Ministry of Education here in the Bahamas. As an administrator, I administrate a, a, a after-school program for the ministry that consist of high school students from both private and public high schools throughout the island. We have mm. two campuses, one in Nassau and one in So let me try to understand one thing. In a nutshell, you told me, Ivan, while we are talking, you are from the Bahamas, and 20 yes. years ago, 20 years ago, you started that leadership program, Toastmasters International. Absolutely. Let me tell you what I learned from you right now. Thank you you repeated my name at least three times. Yes. That means, Ivan, you understand the value of someone else's name. Oh, and definitely. Repeat, so what is the value of Ivan for you? The value of Ivan for me is, uh, is Roosevelt achieving and giving hmm. that is my value in life um one cannot just achieve but one must give and pour out what they have achieved in life hmm. it's like it's like roosevelt it's like you know um having something if you have it and you put it in your fist mm -hmm. you cannot share it mm -hmm. and so what is balled up in me what is inside of me is something that should be shared hmm. what is inside of you is something that should be shared because Roosevelt, you are great. Believe you, you are great. You are certainly great and greatness lies within you. And so you would find as you go through your daily life, there are others who are seeking to be just like you. And so that what you have in you is, is, is a gift that should be shared and to tell people that they can be great, they're destined for greatness and how they can achieve this greatness. So now, one more thing. Sure. What, what you mentioned what you do, and I know 
You're doing a lot of things. I see you in Florida a couple of times a year, being at those Toastmasters Leadership International meetings. You're yes. part of the conference. And also, you are one of those leaders in the Bahamas. How is the program? Is evolving in the Bahamas. And congratulations, you are part of the winners. You took the trophy. <laughs> yes, yes, I did. I took uh, uh, third place in the evaluation and first place in the humor speaking. But Toastmasters in the Bahamas, we are, we are spreading by leaps and bounds with just over 800 plus members. And we are trying to uh, increase membership because now others are seeing the value in this program. Uh, Toastmaster is a, I, 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 I would not just advance it to, I will accredit it to just leadership and communication. I would not accredit it to just those things, but it is an advancement of oneself. Hmm. It is an advancement of oneself and uh, uh, advancing who you are as an individual, uh, building self-esteem, building confidence. And, and so it builds and empowers individuals. And hmm. so... Uh, a lot of Bahamians are now realizing the power of this program, and as such, we are expanding. We have just opened another club in Freepo in, in, in Ilufra, and we have two more clubs to, uh, to open up early, very early next year by February. And so, the, the power of this program is is certainly awesome, and persons are catching on to it. And Roosevelt, if person, like I like you said, I'm in I'm in Florida. Yes, I'm in Florida. Quite often, in fact, I'll be in Florida this Thursday, Roosevelt. Oh, you'll uh, be welcome. <laughs> yes, in Florida this Thursday, and so I, I look forward to seeing you, Roosevelt. And um, but it, it, it is just a testament of of the opportunities, not just the opportunities for growth uh, uh, within oneself, and um, to be able to share and impart knowledge with other individuals. And that's what I'm all about, Roosevelt. That's what I'm about: helping persons, building person, building leaders one person at a time. And we that's are my listening, you are listening to that conversation, Roosevelt's conversation on leadership. And today I'm, I'm speaking with uh, Ivan Thompson. And Ivan means sharing for Ivan Thompson. Means yeah. the more you have, the greatness in yourself is not for you. It is to no. share with others. And that's, Absolutely. Why, that's why I started this Toastmasters International Program in the Bahamas 20 years. And today, they have more than 800 members, almost 1,000. That is a huge milestone. Now, I understand also leadership. There is the person we see outside, and also there is the, I would say, the inside person. How do you fight your inner fight? I mean, it might be fear. It might be... You mentioned self-esteem. How do you fight those inner demons, if I call them like this? Yes. How do you uh, become courageous? Um, Roosevelt, uh, all of us have some demons that we wrestle from time to time in our life. Um, that, is, that is a given. As humans, we have those, uh, those, those things that um, either cause us to fall weak or to cause us to doubt, doubt mm -hmm. ourselves, doubt our abilities to say that, Yes, we can, or no, we cannot do this. And so, how do you fight these inner demons? Uh, Roosevelt, it's simple. It's simple. One must always be focused. As long as you have a, as long as you have a, let's say you have a goal or a destination, and you set that goal and that destination in front of you, you must be so focused that it doesn't matter who or what deters you, no matter what comes with me, whether it's an individual, whether it's a sickness, whether, you know, whatever it could be, you are determined to reach this goal. And if you have a determination, and you see, uh, with, with evils, you know, we grew up in Caribbean countries, so we know about uh, evil. Um, mm -hmm. Roosevelt, when evils see that you're not giving in, then they will give, they will give, you know, they will give way. But you have to have the inner confidence that you will succeed, that this is your goal, that nothing is going to stop you from achieving this goal. You have to have a, great, a greater self-confidence within you that you are going to be, that come hell or high water, as we would say, you will reach this goal or you will get this destination. And so fear has no place in success. Hmm. Fear has no place in success. If you want to be successful, you cannot be fearful. You must be able to take risk. 
You must be able to do the unthinkable. You must be able to come out of your box. You must be able to uh, face challenges head on and to say that I will not succumb to this, but I will overcome and I will reach this particular goal. Fear has no place for success. I no. will answer that's the quote I will be having f from you today. And one yeah. thing, how do you develop yourself? Do you read? What is your mind regiment? What do you feed yourself with? My, I, 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 I read John Maxwell. I love John Maxwell books. Uh, we had also a famous author who is deceased uh, some three years ago. That's from the Bahamas, Dr. Miles Monroe. A prolific, a prolific author and a, a prolific, a, a, a leader par excellence. And so I look at the lifestyles of these individuals, these, these motivators, these encouragers, uh, these philosophers. And I see the power, you know, Roosevelt, words, words are very powerful. Words are very powerful. And how we use them can make individuals or break them. And I've seen words that has built persons, build their self-esteem, build their confidence, and propel them to greatness. And so, and so Roosevelt, these are the things that I feed, I, that I masticate on. Hmm. And, and so you, you, you have to be able to feed positivity into your spirits. And so these authors, you know, these persons, uh, you know, they have a lot of inspiring and encouraging words. And so, you know, like I, I always say, the, the wealth of knowledge is, 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 is in the grave. And when we die, like Dr. Miles say, one, we should want to die empty. And so we should always want to pour and give of ourselves to others that, that when we die, we die without, without any regrets and we die empty. We can't take all of the knowledge and the wisdom to the grave. It will be, it will be a cardinal sin. And so Roosevelt, uh, those are the persons, you know, that I, uh, that I emulate, that I, that I look at and, you know, that I say, okay, you know, one day, this is where and this is how I want to be. Ivan, no fear, no regrets. No fear, no regrets. And no also, no move on for success. And John, Absolutely. Uh, and you mentioned Morzo, I was telling, because I know that I have his book and he's an outstanding, we, he's an outstanding influencer. Absolutely. And tell me about your dreams. How do you see if time, money, and whatever you need, you have it. What will be your ultimate life? What is the life that you will want to live? What, is, what are your dreams? The life that I want to live, Roosevelt, really is not to work for others, but to be able to work for myself, uh, to be a motivator, to be on the world stage, to be in world conferences, to be in seminars, to travel around the world, and to, and to create uh, leaders. What? People are dying and people are desperately searching for strong leaders. They're looking for someone to follow Roosevelt. They're looking. And, and so, and so to be, to, to, I want to be able to cultivate leaders. And in doing so, you know, um, I may not amass great wealth from it, but of course, you know, I have a family. I have children. I have uh, uh, five wonderful children. And, um, Congratulations. Uh, Thank you so much, Roosevelt. And I want them to be able to be influencers in this world as well. I want them to be able to influence others uh, by their lifestyle, by their words. And, and so this is the life for me. I want to be able to give them opportunities that were not afforded to myself and um, that, I, you know, that I was not availed to. And so, and so moving forward in my life, Roosevelt, uh, come 2018, you know, we must turn a new leaf for the better. And that leaf is to uh, be better than we were the year before. And to take, to, see, with each year, we should have a goal and a destination in mind. And if you're not reaching that goal by the end of the year, Roosevelt, you're marking time. You are marking time. And so we as individuals cannot be marking time. Why? The world is depending on us. People are depending on us. People are looking up to us. People are looking for persons that they can follow. They want to look at persons and say, well, okay, he is a strong leader. He's a strong individual. I want to be like him. I want to follow him. I want to subscribe to his philosophy. This is who I wish to emulate. And, and Roosevelt, that is where I want to be. I want to be able to influence persons in a positive way, in a positive direction. Wow. That, that, 
you know, that can, that can build them and that can, and that can shape them and mold them to be that the leaders, they, you know, they are. And that is what I, I want to do. And that is my ultimate goal. That's, that is my ultimate goal. That's where I, I want to be. Just to be able to uh, extend to others an opportunity um, to be great, to be great. And it's so easy, Roosevelt. It is so easy. Ivan Thompson, born and raised in the Bahamas. I called him Ivan the Great. And some people, Ivan the Terrible. Why? <laughs> because he's big. He's, he smile in life. And today I learned more about your leadership style, which is just giving, not keeping. Giving away your yeah. greatness and die empty with no regrets. You also mentioned yes, I mean, that you are a father of five. What is your fatherhood, yes. or your fatherhood style? How do you bring leadership to your home court? Well, uh, what I do is, uh, Roosevelt, one of the things pretty open with them. And um, I, I, I want to be a friend, but I'm also a parent. And so I want to be, I want to be soft yet firm when it comes to parenting. But I want them to be open in a way to, with me that we can talk about any and everything. And that is the parent I am. I am the, I am the president of the PTA at the school that they attend. And so I'm involved in basically every facet of their life. I want to know what affects them. I want to know their friends. I want to know what I can do to assist them in their schoolwork to propel them towards their destiny. And, and, and that I am a, I, I like to be hands on, a uh, hands on parent, you know, and um, this is what, this is what I do. I, I still, I still, you know, pick up and drop off at school. That is, I find a time in my busy schedule to spend and to put quality time into my children. And that's what I would I'd like to admonish every parent to do. Uh, no matter how busy you are, you could be the CEO of a fortune, you know, fi, you know a, a fortune 500 company. It doesn't matter how many zeros are behind your, your, your yeah. salary. Make time for your children. Make time for your family, because in the end, those are the only people that you will have. And also you are a husband. Yes, I was a husband. I, I, am, I, am, I, am, I am divorced, divorced eight years, but um, I, I have not given up uh, on, on marriage. And um, yes, I hope that one day I would be married again and to uh, uh, share my life, um, do you know, with um, some lucky woman or but now uh, I understand your main commitment will be to your five to your five children and yes but now my commitment is to my children yes and to what I do in Toastmasters and what I do as a community leader uh, dealing with our cultural expression in the Bahamas called John Canoe uh, so I'm involved John in Canoe. many John Canoe absolutely <laughs> and so and so and so I commit myself to those things but I never negate my responsibilities and neglect my, uh, you know, my parenting responsibilities as a father. I will conclude our conversation on another note. I will talk about sure. money. Why do I mention money? Sometimes some of us, we have gifts, we have talents, we have abilities. How do we bring those gifts, talents, and abilities to the, to the marketplace? And even if we are successful in the marketplace, how do we keep scoring in the game of money. How, what is your financial life is? How do you manage your personal finances? Hello? Hello? Yes, the question is more about the money thing. How do you come at top of yeah. managing your resources, making it more, multiplying it for you to live the life you want? Well, Roosevelt, you know, um, in some aspects, you know, I have, like I said, I work for the Bahamas government. And so sometimes you find that what you make uh, doing a nine to five job may not be able to sustain you as an, as an individual. And those provisions are in the form of monetary provisions. And so sometimes you would find me speaking at an event as a speaker, as a keynote speaker, as a motivational speaker, as an MC. And so those events, even though I am not in the big league as yet, 
It is my intent to get there. How do I get there, Roosevelt? I make connections. I connect myself with persons of influence, persons of kin mind and like spirit, persons like yourself, you know, being on your show. You know, I don't know who's listening to your show today, but there could be an individual that's listening to your show that can say, well, okay, wow, Roosevelt, I need to get in touch with this guy. I wanted to speak to a seminar for me, you know, and, and, um, you know, your gifts no itself fact, when you would make coming, When you will be here next Thursday, we will be hosting a live conversations about leadership and personal development. And I will see if I can find an invitation for you as well. Absolutely. I would, I would love that. I would love that Roosevelt. I would love that. But, um, when you find that you are, you are, you, this, this style, this, this um, leadership and this communication and this, uh, you know, motivating and helping others, this is a passion for me. And I, can, and, I, and I know, Roosevelt, it's a passion for you. And so this alone can yield great financial rewards and benefits. Uh, you know, like I said, persons, you know, you, you, you can imagine as the gifts that you have in you uh companies that are that are you have big uh multi-billion dollar companies uh the staff morale of the companies they're, they're low so they're looking for persons that come in to speak uh life into their employees and to motivate their employees these gifts that we possess can basically cater to the needs that companies you know such as these fortune 500 companies are looking for now i look at former secretaries of state you know, the uh, Hillary Clinton, the Madeleine Albrights, uh, the, 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 uh, the Condoleezza, the, 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 the Condoleezza Rice, uh, and um, the I look at all of them. The Evan right? Thomas, the yeah. Evan Thompson. Yes, exactly. And I look at the former president of the United States, and I look at their 45-minute speaking engagements, uh, 45 minutes for $150,000. Roosevelt, imagine if they were uttering the words that will come out of your mouth or my mouth that 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 is not just informational uh, uh, but but powerful and they demand these salaries based on their career they, they, you know their career not basically yeah imagine the worth that comes out of your mouth and the and and, and the financial reward that can follow that like it, is, it, is, it is powerful. It's worth more than, it's, it's, it's surely worth more than what they are giving out. And so I say that to say this, Roosevelt, not because they were persons that were high up in political office uh, and that they can demand those type of, of salaries per speaking engagement. Roosevelt, the day will come. The day will come when you, when myself, when other great noble Toastmasters who are great leaders, can, can stand in the front of a conference or a, a seminar uh, that have, a, you know, that, 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 that have five, six, seven thousand individuals. And uh, when you speak, you are changing lives. You are, you, are, you are influencing persons. You are impacting lives. And of course, like I said, the financial reward from those things would be so great that your nine to five job will be a joke. You will forget that. And this will be the part that you will be on. I can't wait to read your book, Ivan. I, I, I feel the greatness of the message, the power of your words. I know you are working on your manuscript to tell people your stories, and those, those stories will go beyond you. That's what I like with, uh, with the written words. It outlived us. You mentioned Dr. Munro. He's not physically with us today, but his intellectual content stays with us and i hope yes you read uh, your content and that video will outlive you as well because with youtube with your permission i will post it on youtube pretty soon for people yes. around the world to watch it and to know who is ivan thompson an outstanding man what will be your last words yes well you know roosevelt um you know like i said you know for me humble beginnings but one that possesses uh, greatness. Greatness lies, and I, and I want persons to understand this, never underestimate your worth. Greatness lies within all of us. It is up to us to hone it. It is up to us to believe that 
we can uh, be the best at whatever it is we set our minds to do and to believe. You just have to believe in yourself. And you have to believe in a dream. You have to believe in it. And you will, you will be surprised. You would be uh, stunned to see exactly what you can accomplish as an individual. Wonderful. My conversation today, Ivan Thompson is from the Bahamas, born and ways is a distinguished Toastmasters. A distinguished Toastmaster is someone who has gone through the program at one of the pinnacle at the top of the program. He started from nothing in the speaking education we call Toastmasters. And today he built an empire with almost 1,000 members, 800 plus, but I'm pretty sure 1,000 will be coming pretty soon. And the goal is to have seminars, to have people in the Bahamas, in Haiti, in Jamaica, listening to the content, to the stories of those people. Those people will be speaking, writing books, and sharing their greatness with them. Thank you, Ivan. Have a great day. Ivan, your audio, your audio is off. Do you see at the bottom left on your audio? Just click on it. Yeah. Like it. Oh, oh, yes. Sorry about that. There you go. Please repeat what yes. you said because we missed it. Yes. yes. Sorry, I said, Roosevelt, thank you so much for having me on your show today. And I, it, it's been my pleasure. And I do hope for, you know, I do look forward to being on more of your shows and to be able to encourage individuals and to encourage any of your listeners uh, to be able to um, encourage them to, and to let them know that they are great and there's greatness that lies within all of them. Uh, and, and, you know, they can be whatever they set your mind out to be. Let no one cause you to doubt yourself. You are definitely great. You are a leader. And so, Roosevelt, this is, you know, it was, it was a wonderful opportunity for me to you to speak in traffic in the Bahamas, but I thoroughly, <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I, I, you know, like I said, I'm looking forward to many, many more, many more conversations uh, where we can empower, where we can uplift, where we can edify, where we can motivate. Empower, motivate, and above all, edify. Edify means you uplift, you build. Uh, and yes. I, I really appreciate that. I can't wait. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning because we need to create our own content. Of yes. course, we are looking yeah. at those people being successful in their whole world, in their world. We, Absolutely. We have more than 2 million people in the Bahamas, more than 10 million people in Haiti, more than 6 million people in, the, in Jamaica, and Turks and Caicos and so forth. We are 25 million people. And when, yes. we, when we create our own tribe, telling them our own stories, we may not need to go to the big league, but we are big in our own league. And this is why Absolutely. we start correct. these conversations. Because yes, yes, people Roosevelt. like Ivan, we cannot fail. There is no fear. There's no, no fear. No there fear, you go. no regret. Ivan Thompson, the great. Thank you, my friend. Talk to you next. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. And God bless. God bless you. <laughs>